Hey, thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spirits of Growth. Today is Thursday. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 43. We've been talking about God's timing, His provision, and how He knows our tomorrow and knows exactly what we need. We see here that uh, the brothers, they don't know that Joseph is in charge, that Joseph is the governor, ruler of, of Egypt here, and they have to go back now to Egypt. So the the first initial um, reaction, the first interaction that, uh, that the brothers had with Joseph, Joseph doesn't reveal who he is, just gives them the boot and then returns them. He asks, you know, these questions, series of questions about, you know, who they are, where they come from, uh, who their dad is, do they have any other brothers? And then um, he asks for their youngest brother. I believe that this is a test. We have to understand here where Joseph came from. We came from his brothers hating him because he was favored and he was the youngest. And that's what led to the series of him being in slavery and going through all the tests that he had to go through. And we see here that Joseph, uh, he honored God through the testing and the trials that he faced. Now we see here that the other side of it, where Joseph now is testing his brothers. Listen to uh, verses 33 and 34 of chapter 43. The men had been seated before him in order of their ages, from the firstborn to the youngest, and they looked at each other with astonishment. Why would they look at each other with astonishment? Because the likelihood of somebody knowing um, their birth uh, right, and not, not the birth right, but their birthplace, you know, if the youngest to the oldest would be a staggering statistic. I mean, there's no way that somebody would know that, but yet they were placed uh, from the youngest to the oldest. And why? Because Joseph knew them personally. And then l- listen to what Joseph does in verse 34. When portions were served to them from Joseph's table, Benjamin, and now Benjamin is the youngest, Benjamin's portion was five times as much as anyone else's, so they feasted and drank freely with them. Now, you would think here, I mean, obviously, the, it typically, traditionally, the oldest would have the favor. The oldest would have, you know, the, the biggest portions. But yet, Joseph here, he flips the table uh, upside down and says, yeah, I'm going to give the biggest portions to the youngest to see how his brothers would respond. And we see here, as you read through Genesis chapter 43 here, even though the brothers don't know who Joseph is, we see here that there's a change of heart in the brothers because they care for the brother. Even the fact that they went back and they got the younger brother, even though the, the, the dad, Jacob, did not want them to. He's like, hey, they were like, we're, we will protect him. You know, we will do everything that we can. And we see here a change of heart shift because they would, Joseph did not see that in his brothers growing up. But now we see here them protecting their youngest brother. And we see them caring for their father, something that Joseph did not see growing up. So one thing that we have to learn and grow is that we will continue to face trials, continue to face testings of our faith. And let's look at those as learning opportunities. Let's look at those as saying, God, I don't understand why I'm in this season the season of, of trial, the season of sorrow, the season of grief, the season of loss, the season of uncertainty, whatever it may be, let's choose to honor God in the midst of it. Let's choose to say, God, how can I honor you in this? God, what are you trying to teach me? Because here's the thing. If we are learning uh, from it, it, there's a high probability that God will continue to test us until we learn and grow. And so let's choose to learn and grow earlier on so we don't keep on getting tested through the same thing over and over again. And so let's learn and let's grow through the testing of our faith. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.